Welcome to ED Technology, inspiring learning through education and technology. Hi, I'm Navjot here, and today's topic is risk management table. It's the same concept which we discussed in the last video, part of the RMMM plan, which is risk mitigation, monitoring, and management plan. So, what are we seeing in today's video? We are seeing how to make the risk management table. So, what is the idea about creating a risk table? Risk table helps us plan, mitigate, and even add the mitigation plan for each of the risk which we are identifying as in the potential risk to affect our system, or you can say even development. So risk table is used to project those things in a way where everybody understands the different types of risk, and also making sure that the mitigation plan are in place. So why do we, you know, we do this? What are we supposed to do? So we are supposed to scale different risk levels, estimate the impact, and also the probability or the occurrence of the risk. So what would the risk table be like? What would it contain? The risk table has a very short description of the risk summary. As I said, this is used by project managers to identify different types of risk, and even the team has to be aware of those risks. Keeping in mind, some of the mitigation plans are always planned. So the risk table would include a risk summary, which is a very short description of the listed risk. It has the categories, which is you know classified into different types. We'll see in the further side, such as technical issues, business impact, and staff size, and etc. Then we estimate the you know possibility or the probability of those risks happening. And this purely comes by the experience of the project uh, done by the managers and also certain algorithms we follow. And using that, the probability is calculated. Then we add the impact scale. As, as you saw in the last video, you can have high, low, medium. The normal generalized version is catastrophic, critical, marginal, and negligible types. So depending on what sort of impact this risk would have on your project development, you have to classify them into different categories and finally the mitigation plan so what have you planned to overcome that risk if in case of occurrence of that scenario so let's see further so basically what are we supposed to do how do you develop the risk table list all identify risk so if you have you know different types of risk just summarize them in a sheet of paper and list them into different categories so which are the seven categories wherein you can enlist so product size, the size of the product, uh, amount of work to be done is there. Business impact, when the project is directly creating an impact on the whole of the business. So it's a very high uh, you know, level of risk, so business impact risk. Customer characteristics, wherein they are not understanding how the systems are developed, the requirements are ch changing, and so many things. The processes, the process risk involves the processes which you are following in the company the development processes and so on then the development environment so you know you might have a development environment where people work remotely the communication channels and so on the technology to be built includes all the technological upgrades updates which affect the system and the staff size or the experience or sometimes inexperience which plays a part so you list the different categories of uh, summarized risk into uh, this categories then calculate the probability of each risk assess the impact see it guys this is a very simple process if the risk are in business impact category or a technological upgrade or update within the you know the control is not in the project managers hand, then it has to be a very high impact risk and in the last video we did see that different types of risk have different impact and if you're not seen please watch our last video in order to understand the impact of the risk and finally the plan to mitigate those risks so as you can see here in the below the tables would have columns such as risk summary risk category the risk probability which is in percentage impact scale which is of one to four and the mitigation plan and this is how your risk table would look like it's a simple example wherein a computer failure which is into the category of technical issues as a probability of the 20% considering in a gaming environment which we have 
and then the impact is very high which is considered as in catastrophic you can see the impact levels in the below uh, the table and the mitigation is we plan regular backups we can have a storage and cloud and so on so this is how you uh, create a risk table i request you to go through this video try to have a you know risk table created for your projects and uh, do uh, comment in the comment section if this was helpful uh, is there anything else which we can add we'll be surely trying to cover the same you can uh, check out easytechnology.in for more updates on similar kind of material or the how to create this kind of tables in software project management so thank you so much guys i hope you had a good time learning how to create a this table do subscribe to our channel uh, make sure you are you know commenting regularly for, uh, for the feedback and uh, thank you so much have a nice day assalamu alaikum